ancient kingdom of Scotland, shrouded in history and covered in mist. Fiercely protected by the Scots, turning away marauding armies of the Romans and the English. But in Cold War Britain, the very isolation of the border counties around the Solway Firth used its very isolation for secrecy. Just south of the border, Spade Adam, Britain's rocket test site. The mysterious physics laboratory at Anthorne, today the base of Britain's atomic clocks. And of course, Solway Firth's best kept secret, a parallel nuclear site to Windscale. Never mentioned, but producing the tritium for Britain's hydrogen bombs. And you'll all remember Jamie Grant. Jamie saw a mysterious UFO hovering over the tritium plant at Chapel Cross. And Jamie contacted me with a mysterious new story. This is his letter. Hey Simon, as you may remember, I live in Annan, beside the Solway Firth. Our area is steeped in local history, and you've pointed out already in several films, The Mystery of the Solway Spaceman, Anthorn Physics Department, and Chapel Cross Nuclear Reactor. But our land is on the border and has been fought over frequently and has changed hands many times. I've come across a mysterious local legend. Underwater in the middle of the Solway Firth is this, the Altar Stain. The Altar Stain lies midway out in the middle of the Solway Firth and is used as a town boundary, also as a fishing rights marker, and we think it dates back to medieval times. But it's rarely seen because this marker stone is underwater. But as you know, I have a drone, and at an exceptionally low spring tide, I flew over the Solway Firth and spotted the stone. Doing more research, I identified two old pictures with background markers to prove that the stone I saw from my drone is the mysterious altar stain. To my surprise, the lines all crossed in the same position. And when I zoomed in on a large boulder, the altar stain becomes clearly visible on Google Earth. This is truly surprising. Google would need an exceptionally low tide to get any chance of capturing the mysterious underwater stain. It's an amazing fluke that the stone was captured by Google at all. This story is really a strange blend of connections between local history, military landmarks, modern Google satellite and GPS mapping, and the persistence of Jamie Grant. The Altair Stone has a darker side. The treacherous waters of the Solway Firth has claimed a number of unique Scottish fishermen. Half netting, one of the oldest forms of fishing in Scotland. Fishermen weighed out in both the oncoming and ebb tide, carrying a wooden frame net. It requires great skill and personal bravery, but sadly the altar stone has claimed lives. In this extraordinary case, 
of drowning in Solway, the body of fisherman named John Thompson was said to have been swallowed up by quicksand in the Solway Firth. After having been six days in the water, his fellow fishermen were amazed and frightened at his re-emergence. He was being carried up the channel, bolt upright, but sadly, dead. What other tragic ends has the Altair stain witnessed over the years? Only the Altair stain knows all the secrets. But thanks to Jamie Grant's geographical detective work, the mysterious stone's position has now been revealed. 